So single line diagram or SLD is one of the important document or rather it is the starting document that is required to build a substation. And in this video, I am going to share you five simple steps which you can use to understand and analyze the single line diagram. So to get these details, you need to watch the video. Hello everybody and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Gaurav J. I post videos related to electrical engineering in easiest way possible on this channel. So if you are interested, then do click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future updates. Now, before we start with the five simple steps, we need to understand what is a single line diagram. Now, I already have a dedicated video on that. I'll provide link for it down in the description. You can go and check it out after this video. But just to give you a brief idea about what is a single line diagram. So it is basically a diagram wherein we are using just the lines and the symbols to represent the different substation equipment that we have. So instead of showing a, you know, actual circuit breaker, we would be using a standardized symbol which represents the circuit breaker. One example you can see on your screen. Uh, uh, and also one important part is now we talk about three phase system but while representing the three phase system in sld we only use single line to show that and hence the name is single line diagram or one line diagram so just remember that so the first step to understand the single line diagram or to read the single line diagram is to understand the structure of the drawing so first thing what you have to do is let's go to the right hand side of the diagram wherein we will find some important information so here you can see uh, it shows the bom or it is also called as bill of material or bill of quantity boq right so it shows the all the equipment that is used in the substation so let's say power transformer surge arrestor capacitive voltage transformer, current transformer, circuit breaker and disconnector. It also shows the symbol that we are using to represent the uh, that particular equipment right here. So that is uh, BOM. Sometimes you will also find the uh, system parameters like what is the rated voltage of system, rated current of system, uh, STC level of the system, insulation levels of system. That detail will also be there mentioned in the right hand side of the drawing. Then once you go down, you will find a block, this right hand side corner, bottom corner. This is what we call as title block. Now this gives the detail about who is the contractor, who is the owner of the substation, what is the name of the project and all the details. It also shows when the drawing was prepared, by whom it was prepared and how many revisions were made. So these details you will find in the bottom right hand side corner, which we call it as title block and sometimes you will also find the current transformer details and CVT details mentioned. So here you can see the example uh, 33 kV CT details are mentioned. Now it shows the different cores that we are using the ratio, the accuracy class and all the other details. By the way, we have already discussed uh, all these parameters about current transformer in, a, in one of the video. I'll provide link for that video down in the description. Similarly, you will also find the CVT details here, uh, PT details here, but not necessarily all the diagrams will have these details. So in this particular diagram, it is mentioned. So you can also check that. And after that, if you see uh, in all the balance area, you will find the actual SLD. So this is the actual SLD we have and all these uh, are the different information. Now, once you have understood the uh, structure of the diagram, the second important part is you must know the function of each and every equipment used in the substation. Otherwise, there is no use. You need to understand the function of power transformer, arrestor, uh, circuit breaker, wave traps and all the other equipment. It is very important. Now, I have a dedicated playlist on that wherein I have explained the function of each equipment that we use in a substation. I'll provide link for that playlist down in the description. It is very, very easy to understand and uh, the videos are short so that you can quickly understand the function of each equipment. Link is in the description. So the step next step is to understand uh, the function of each equipment.
Now, after you have understood and you have got all the clarity about the function of each equipment, you need to understand the symbols that we are using in the single line diagram. And where you will find that symbols? Well, you have to look at the right hand side of the drawing wherein the bill of material is given. So here you can see a description, let's say for example, power transformer and that symbol that is used for power transformer is this. Because in single line diagram, we are not going to represent the transformer with its actual image. Instead of that, we are going to represent it using the symbol. And hence, it is very important for you to get familiar uh, get familiar with all the symbols so that it will be easy for you to understand it. So here you can see the symbols of each equipment that is used in this uh, single line diagram is mentioned. And many of the cases, uh, you will also have to understand the designation of that particular equipment. Now, not necessary uh, all the details or all the equipments are labeled with their uh, actual name. Uh, many of the time you will see the letters or numbers are used. So you can see here uh, 110-89B. So this detail also you need to understand uh, before going into the single line diagram. Now, once you have understood the symbol and the designation, different designation that we are using in the diagram, the next and the very important step is to identify the bus bar arrangement used in a substation or the circuit arrangement used in a substation. Very important step. Now, it can be a single bus bar arrangement. It can be a double bus bar arrangement, main or transfer bus, or maybe one and a half breaker scheme. You must be able to identify that. And if you are interested, I have a basic course on substation, which you can find on courses.theelectricalguide.in, wherein you can identify all the circuit arrangement, what is substation, purpose of substation. I have explained all these things in that course. It is very, very useful for beginners. Definitely go and check it out. So in step five, what we have to do is we need to identify the power flow in the substation. So you basically what you need to do is you need to identify the incoming and the outgoing. So here is one example that you can see. So here you can see a 132 kV line is coming and that is getting connected to this substation and the power is flowing through all this equipment. Then that is a double bus bar scheme used here. And after that, you can see the power is going to the 132 by 33 kV transformer. So basically what this transformer is doing is accepting 132 kV as an input and then stepping it down to 36 kV. And from here, the power will be further given to 36 kV switch yard where the power will further step down and then the distribution will happen, right? So you need to identify the power flow. Now, sometimes, yes, it can get tricky to identify the power flow. Uh, in that case, it is useful if you know the, if you can talk the uh, authority about the incoming and outgoing supply, it would be useful. So that is the fifth step. So that is how you can understand and read the single line diagram. Now let's quickly summarize uh, the five different steps that we have seen. So the first step is to understand the structure of the document. We identified there are some details mentioned on the right hand side and there is a title block CT, CVT details. So and then in the balance area, there was a single line diagram. Then in the next step, we need to identify uh, or understand the function of each of the equipment that we are using in the substation. After that, the next step is to understand the symbols used for different equipment and also their designation then understand the circuit arrangement. This is very important step. And in the last step, we need to identify the power flow that is happening in the substation, right? So these are the five simple steps which you can use to identify the or read the single line diagram. If the video was helpful, then comment yes in the comment section so that I will create more such content. In the next video, by the way, we will be actually discussing one SLD of 36 by 11 kV substation. So make sure you subscribe to the channel with the bell notification icon turned on so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. So I hope you found this video helpful guys. That's all for this video. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.